Hi, my name is Hans Sudenberg, Product Manager at Surgical Science. I will give you a quick overview of our new annual LabSim release. LabSim 2014 is filled with news and updates, a result of our everlasting commitment to improve and evolve our products. First of all, I wanted to mention our new scenario control, which allows an instructor to remove the control of virtual patients. From LabSim Teacher Mode, the instructor can now overview a simulation training from a remote computer, start and stop bleedings anytime during a session, control tool selection, and even introduce instrument failure to simulate technical problems in the OR. By that, the LabSim scenario control is suitable for OR mock-up training setups, like these two guys training on the portable symbols, and opens up for training of the whole team, not only the surgeon, and helps setting focus on communication and team interaction. The results page showing up after each exercise has been improved with a clearer view of results now. Good results are now always to the right. And the trainee can also file comments to each exercise. A survey function has also been added to the exercise library. It is customizable and allows an instructor to create questionnaires anywhere in any course. We do have a couple of new exercises this year. This is jejunal anastomosis, part of our bariatrics model where we've taken our suturing to a new level. In the exercise you carry out the last step of a gastric bypass where the small intestine is reconnected with itself. Also included in 2014's bariatrics model is the new inspect bowel exercise where you learn the techniques involved in safe handling of the intestines while inspecting them. The exercise is also set up as a measuring exercise where you run it to approximate a certain bowel length. Compared to the existing basic skills exercise handling intestines, both graphics and dynamics are new and the bowel is now attached to a mesentery. The nephrectomy model has grown with the dissection exercise as well as a combined one where dissection and transection of vessels and ureter are done in sequence. Another news is a new comprehensive Simpraxis cognitive training package for Nissen fund application where you can listen to experts explaining the details, train on instrumentation and OR setup, port setting, anatomy and complications in a theoretical and interactive way. No simulations are included in this package at this point. For easier course administration, the course certificate templates can now be saved, imported and exported and certificates can be batch printed. And apart from what I mentioned here, there's a long list of minor improvements in the LAPS in 2014 annual upgrade, making the simulation experience even better. So now this is waiting for you to try it out.